It is my honor and privilege to present the Vice Chancellor's progress report on the occasion of the fourth convocation of the Shivnada University. Shivnada University was established in 2011 by the Shivnada Foundation through an act of the state of Uttar Pradesh with the aim of becoming an enduring global center of excellence in higher education, which is learner-centric and anchored in research and innovation, driven by an outstanding faculty and supported by national and international academic partnerships. The university is multidisciplinary, as elaborated by our chancellor, and currently has four major schools, School of Engineering, hosting the departments of Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering, School of Natural Sciences, hosting the departments of Chemistry, Life Sciences, Mathematics, and Physics, School of Humanities and Social Sciences, hosting the departments of Economics, English, History, International Relations and Governance Studies, that's the newest edition, Sociology, Education, Art and Performing Arts, Communication, and very proudly, Design. And the School of Management and Entrepreneurship, as well as the School of Extended Education and Professional Development for, to support lifelong learning. Additionally, a lot of innovative and contemporary research is facilitated at the interdisciplinary centers, the Center for Public Affairs and Critical Theory, the Center for Environmental Sciences and Engineering, the Big Data Analytics Center, the Center for Informatics, and the Institute for Innovation and Inventions with Mathematics and IT. It's a comprehensive university, not one-dimensional. It offers a full range of general and professional degree programs. As of today, the university offers 15 bachelor's level degree programs, BTEC, BMS, BSc research, and BA research, 12 master's programs, MTEC, MSc, MFA, MA, and MBA, and 13 doctoral level, that is PhD programs. We have about 2,200 students enrolled at the university today. Of these, 1,827 are undergraduates, 180 masters, and almost an equal number of doctoral students. The diverse student body coming from 27 states and union territories in the country is spread across the various programs in the four schools. Over 85% of our undergraduate and postgraduate students receive some form of scholarship or a financial aid, and all our doctoral students receive stipends and tuition fee waivers. In 2017-18, the university dispersed about 31.72 crores as scholarships to undergraduate students, and stipends worth approximately 6.59 crores to postgraduate and doctoral students. The faculty members have published many books and, or book chapters, written articles in refereed journals, submitted conference papers and presentations in very, very high impact, prestigious journals uh, in the, the world's best that you can name off. The faculty members have also filed several patents. The SNU faculty have so far attracted more than 21 crores in extramural research funding. All the departments in the School of Natural Sciences Mathematics, Chemistry, Life Sciences, and Physics have now earned the prestigious Department of Science and Technology FIST, that is the Fund for Improvement of Science and Technology Infrastructure Grant in recognition of their research. We also have programs that are integrated with social needs and policies. The SNU advantage is the multidisciplinary setup in which science-driven policy making becomes a reality. For instance, in the Center for Public Affairs and Critical Theory, CPAC in short, we have launched a postgraduate program led by Dr. Mehit Shah in Water Science and Policy, the first of its kind globally. The program has attracted attention of the global community and also the Indian government. Building a much needed network of water professionals is one of the aims of the program. It has received a grant of Canadian, uh, 500,000 Canadian dollars from the IDRC Canada in the next three years, and also committed support from Bharat Rural Livelihoods Foundation 
for sponsored candidates. SNU has started the operation of an Atal incubation center last November, supported by the Niti Aayog, Government of India. Innovation remains strongly coupled to STEM, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics subjects, which are, of course, SNU's strengths. But experts say that art and design are poised to transform the economy in the 21st century, just as science and technology did in the last century. The key to SNU's education and training today is based on not STEM, but STEAM, which is STEM plus art and design. A center for creativity and design has started operation, promoting project-based learning for young undergraduate students. To tap into the potential of what I call connecting the left brain, which is verbal, analytic, and orderly, to the right brain, which is visual and intuitive. We are launching a master program in designs starting monsoon 2018. We are also starting a unique BA research program in international relations in monsoon 2018. A memorandum of understanding was signed with the Center for Joint Warfare Studies on 14, 24th of July last year to collaborate academically on matters related to international relations, regional, and global security. A related memorandum of understanding was signed with the Institute of Chinese Studies on 12 January this year, and joint programs have been planned already. It is with immense pride and satisfaction I inform you that the Center for Environmental Sciences and Engineering has been working on an ambitious local biodiversity documentation project led by Professor Jyoti Kumar Sharma and a book on illustrated flora, part of Western Uttar Pradesh and Delhi and CR India has just been published. The book describing 272 plant species under 203 genera belonging to many plant families of the Chithera village panchayat should serve as a model documentation of local biodiversity. This is the first time such a comprehensive floristic study has been carried out in a village panchayat in the country. It would help formulate a much needed strategy for conservation. This pioneering initiative is in fact in line with the overall vision and commitment of the university of creating knowledge and solutions that would serve national and global needs. The book, besides giving valuable taxonomic information about plants of the region, provides details on their chemical and medicinal properties and ethnomedicinal usage. Our researchers may isolate effective biomolecules for drug development for important diseases. The infrastructure support, as you can see, at this residential campus has been going up steadily. Various smart campus and green campus initiatives are being undertaken. Rooftop solar systems in phase one are planned at three different locations for a total output of 430 kWp. The university believes in holistic education. While we are academically serious, there are many clubs and technical societies on campus and excellent sports complex for students where this ceremony is being hosted. To enable our students to pursue their passions besides the curriculum, we also offer on-campus jobs which provide get learning experience for our students. Just as an example, I'm happy to share that a team of four undergraduate students, guided by our faculty, Nishant Mishra, received the first prize in the ASME, Asia Pacific Student Design Competition, beating IIT Bombay in the finals this March. This is just one example. Research at the university is not limited to faculty and doctoral students. Undergraduate students are required to engage in research as part of their curriculum. They are made to understand the nuances of research and innovation while we strengthen their foundation with a broad multidisciplinary approach and provide a depth of learning in their major subject. Our biggest differentiator is perhaps the annual extracurricular Opportunities for Undergraduate Research, OUR, 
program, our program, started in 2014. The Our program is enabling undergraduate students to undertake research projects with the faculty members outside the regular curriculum and to publish their research work in high impact journals. It is a vibrant campus. Important conferences, seminars, workshops, and exhibitions get organized regularly. We have had many distinguished visitors during the period under reporting. To name a few, Bharat Ratna, Dr. CNR Rao, Dr. Jagdish Senset, Jag Dr. B. N. Suresh, Professor Barbara Romanovich, Ambassador Sham Saran, and so on and so forth. In the annual exercise under the National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF in short, carried out by the Ministry of Human Resource Development Government of India, the results for 2017-18 were announced by the MHRD on 3rd April this year. SNU has ranked 48th in the university category, last year's was 60, and in the overall category, we are 72. So SNU has figured in the top 100 overall list consecutively for two years, and is now the youngest institution in the top 50 university. <laughs> SNU's application for an institution of eminence was shortlisted by the MHRD UGC for presentation before an empowered expert committee on 5th of April this year. The vice chancellor presented the founder's dream and the plan the list of institutions to be conferred the IOE status is likely to be declared soon. The university is partnering with some of the leading international universities and institutions for an accelerated journey towards global eminence. The founder and the trustees of the Shivnara Foundation, my colleagues, the faculty, staff, and administrators, my dear students, and alumni of the Shivnada University, parents and family members and friends, thank you for your support to the university and for joining us on this momentous occasion. Thank you. <laughs>